Welcome back fellow news hounds. I'm Groftykins and here I try to bring you stories from around the globe that you may not see on your standard news networks. Today, North Korea's latest ICBM test may have failed and US moves hundreds of troops to South Korean base. So let's get into it. Analysts from various organisations including 38 North the watchdog that closely monitors the situation on the 38th parallel have questioned whether North Korea's latest ICBM was actually a success or not. Cameras on the Japanese island of Hokkaido managed to catch the re-entry. Used for observing the weather, they filmed the re-entry vehicle, or RV for short, as it came down close to Japan rather than far out to sea. During the descent, the RV is seen to brighten, followed by a flash, before several objects are seen breaking away. It is assumed this could be part of the heat shield, which means it is highly unlikely the warhead itself would have survived. This doesn't mean that North Korea doesn't have a working ICBM. The first test on the 4th of July was a success, but involved a slightly different design with a heavy-duty re-entry vehicle. However, to achieve the higher altitude and range of the second ICBM, they would have had to add another engine and reduce the weight of the warhead. This was probably done by reducing the payload weight from 500 kilograms to around 300 kilograms and making the re-entry vehicle lighter. A lighter RV, although able to travel further, is much less likely to be able to survive the high speeds and high temperatures of re-entry. North Korea is of course no stranger to missile failures, but the data from each test is used to improve their design, and as we have seen, they have a habit of surprising us all. In other news, the US has announced it is deploying 200 troops to a military base in South Korea. This is in addition to 12 F-16 fighter jets that are being sent to the Kunsan Air Base in Central South Korea. The US Pacific Air Command called it a move to stabilize the region and maintain peace, but many are seeing it as a bolstering of forces in case President Trump orders military action. After Kim Jong-un's latest ICBM launches, it has been accepted that North Korea can at least reach the west coast of America. Although the progress of Kim's nuclear program is difficult to assess in such a reclusive country, experts have stated that it is reasonable to assume North Korea can construct a bomb that weighs less than one metric ton with a diameter of less than one meter. A bomb this size could be easily carried by their missiles to part of the US mainland. President Trump has been in almost daily contact with the South Korean president and has recently said that he will handle the problem. Given Kim Jong-un's history of ignoring sanctions and threats, and the fact that since the latest ICBM launch, there has been a multiple ballistic missile barrage test by the US and South Korea, a flight over Korea by two US supersonic B-1B bombers, an ICBM test by the US, a test firing of the THAAD anti-missile system, and now the deployment of more troops and warplanes to South Korea, then the signs certainly appear ominous. I will try to keep you informed about this and other stories from around the globe, so hit that subscribe button for further updates. And don't forget, the world is watching, so please be kind to each other.